What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how we can take our Unreal Engine 4 projects into Unreal Engine 5 and use Lumen. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So as you can see now, I have the Epic Games already launched up. And for this example, I'm going to go over to the Learn tab because I want to use the scene that I already have set up. So I'm going to use this one called the Car Configurator. And if I click on it, it's going to come up with this menu. And if you already have it, all you have to do is click Create Project. If you didn't already get it, it's going to say Grab for Free here. So once you already have it set up and everything, then you just want to come over and you want to make sure that you have Unreal Engine 5 already downloaded. And once you do, up here on the right hand side, I'm just going to launch the Unreal Engine 5 Early Access. And then that's going to bring up the Unreal Engine Project Browser. And so from here, I'm going to go right here where it says Car Configurator. I'm going to double click on this and it's going to tell us that it needs to make a copy of the project so that we don't mess up the original one plus it has to convert it for Unreal Engine 5. So I'm just going to click open up a copy and here we are. So we have the loader launching up right now. It's for the car configurator and we'll give us a second to load up. Okay, so we have Unreal Engine 5 opened up with our scene here down here in the lower right hand corner. I'm going to dismiss this plugins menu update project file and we should be good there and so from here we're going to go up to up here where it says edit and we're going to come down here to project settings so once we have the project settings opened up i'm going to come over here on the left hand side where it says engine i'm going to scroll all the way down to rendering click on this and then i'm going to look for global illumination so i'm going to scroll down in the menu here until i come up with global illumination so right here where it says dynamic global illumination method i want to click on none and I'm going to select Lumen. Now this is going to tell us that it's going to enable Lumen for reflections and global illumination and it's going to automatically enable it. So I'm going to click OK. And then it's going to tell us that it requires to generate the mesh distance field and I'm going to hit OK again. And you can see right here it automatically turned this on for us. And there's a couple more settings that we're going to need to put on here. So I want to click on this one here where it says support global clip plane. I'm going to select this one here. And it's going to tell us that we need to restart. And the one caveat is once we restart, it's going to recompile all the shaders, which could take a few minutes depending on your scene. So I'm going to hit restart now and let everything compile up. So if I pull this down here now, you can see when I turn Lumen off, you can see how everything changes there. If I turn Lumen on, you can see the effect that we have here. So I'm going to turn it back on here like so. And I'm just going to actually let me play this scene out so you guys can see it. So I'm going to hit play here. And the one thing that I do notice is it runs a little bit slower in Unreal Engine 5. And that's because I think this wasn't really built, you know, for Unreal Engine 5, of course. So if it's built from the ground up, you probably get a lot smoother playback. But if I click down here, maybe let's say like the spray can. Yeah, so all these different car shaders and everything look pretty neat here. So that's basically it. So if you have Unreal Engine 4 projects and you want to bring them into Unreal Engine 5 just to see what they look like with Lumen, that's exactly what you have to do there. So it's quick and easy and hopefully it works out for you guys. So hopefully that helped you guys out. I mean, this is quick and easy. The one caveat I could say is once I did it, you know, taking projects from Unreal Engine 4 and bringing them into Unreal Engine 5, as soon as I activated the Lumen, I was getting a lot of crashes. And so this did take me a couple of takes to go through, but maybe try it out with your own personal projects and you'll have different results. So if you like this tip here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're new, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how it's working out for you. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care. What up, what up? Wimbush here.